The purpose of this screencast is to use Excel's Descriptive Statistics and then Summary Statistics tool to find out the various uh, interesting indications of the shape of the data, the mean, the mode, the standard deviation, and also the skew. We have here the number of hours till burnout of some electrical part. There are a total of 200 observations. First of all, we are going to use Excel's Descriptive Statistics Summary Statistics tool. Go to Data and then Data Analysis. Under Descriptive Statistics, click OK. Now our information is in B1 to B201. We have 200 observations. We have a label in the first row, so we click that. We'll put it onto a new worksheet and check, make sure that Summary Statistics is checked. Click OK, and now a new sheet appears with the information that we want. Hours until burnout, the mean was 76, the standard error, the median and the mode. Now notice that the mean, the median and the mode are fairly close together. This means that we can expect the data to be almost symmetric in its distribution. How do we know this? We go to the skewness and we see that the skewness here is a slight positive number. If the data was totally normally distributed or symmetric in its distribution, the skew would be zero. Here we have a small positive number which would indicate that we would expect to see the tail on the right. In other words, some positive skew. Now I've made a pivot table of this. Here. Now what I've done is to put the class width in fives. So in other words, each of the bins is 5, so that we can see the distribution more clearly. So here were the row labels, so there were two instances when 43 to 47. Within those five, there were two times when the motor burnt out, etc. So we can see the distribution of the times and here it's plotted on this histogram. And you can see here that there is a positive skew. In other words, the tail is to the right. If we were to draw a line through the center points of the tops of each of the class widths, each of the vertical columns, it would go something like this. And then it would skew, it would be pulled down to the right. So that is positive skew, and this can be found by using descriptive statistics, summary, and then look for skewness. Thank you.